zigzag bricks making a zigzag shadow. Huh, that's pretty neat. Not much else to say about it, really. It's only a little cool. Hi again, guys, and open your mouth, say, ah, it's time for your Reddit sludge spoon feeding. Here comes the airplane. Woo! <laughs> that's what an airplane sounds like. Fellas, I have been dealing with a lot of input lately. It's very overstimulating, so I kind of need to ease off the intensity of the things I'm consuming right now. But unfortunately, because of the same mental disorder that makes me feel overstimulated, I also need a constant stream of input to avoid boredom. It's about trying to find that line to ride in the middle, which brings us to today's subreddit, r slash mildly interesting. It's a subreddit that I actually like quite a bit, like I browse it on my own time a decent amount, and people basically just post things they see or find that are just pretty neat, but only a little bit. Like, they're not earth-shattering in their significance, they're just kind of whimsical on their own, you know? This might be one of the only quite videos where I am looking at explicitly positive, or at the very least, subject matter that is morally neutral in its nature. <laughs> Missing child poster and sticker for when my mom kidnapped me. <laughs> yep, my happiness never lasts. I think some people might have different ideas of what mild means than me. Like, you're really just gonna drop that on me and act like it's not one of the craziest stories you can ever tell someone as part of your character lore? Christ. Uh, if you enjoy this vid, this card at the end will take you to another like it. Also, only 20% of y'all are subscribed with notifications on. If you sub and hit the bell icon, you'll never miss an upload, and you can always undo it later. The winter uniform for Norwegian train conductors is a cloak. Dude, I don't think I've actually seen people wear cloaks in real life before. Like, cosplay for sure, but people just don't go out and about wearing those things. I need to start doing that. It's a shame winter just ended. Crap. I just think cloaks should be a more of an everyday item than they currently are. Like, they should be worked into more uniforms. This should be made a less interesting sight because I want to see it more often. I want the cashier in Target to be wearing a cloak as a mandatory part of the uniform. I want his identity to be ominously obscured from my view. Do you understand what I'm saying? This car is full of bumper stickers that say bumper sticker. Well, most of them say a little more than that. Jesus. Honk if you heart bumper stickers. Bumper sticker road. Bumper sticker. Uh, peace and bumper stickers. Don't tread on bumper stickers. I heart bumper stickers. The thing that's crazy to me is that the dude who posted this somehow missed that the license plate literally says license plate on it. Did they actually manage to get that as their license plate number in their state? Because that is lucky. I feel like that is the go-to gag for a lot of people trying to get custom license plate numbers. It's the equivalent of printing out a piece of paper that just has the word paper on it. My 45 foot long phone charger. For what reason? What is the possible use case for this, man? Anybody who needs a 45 foot long phone charger should just get a battery pack. At this point, man, tether it to yourself so there's literally no distance requirements. This is certainly interesting, but mild is not how I would describe this at all. I did not know there were manufacturers out there making stuff like this. Do you know how tall you would have to be as a person for this to be the length of a normal charger for you? Only the titular titans from Attack on Titan are tall enough to be people who would buy that and actually get some use out of it. Dollar General has a dedicated squeezing chicken to summon a cashier to the register. Ding bell or choke the chicken for service. Squeeze for service. I, I like how they make it multiple choice. They really don't want you to miss out on them with all the arrows they have pointing down on it. I think that's more than I've ever put in a YouTube thumbnail, which is saying something. Do you think the people who work there have been pavlobbed into like going into work mode whenever they hear the chicken screaming noise? To me, there's like beeping that you hear when you work in the back of a fast food kitchen. And whenever I hear that sound effect going around again, I just flash back into my fast food employee uniform and I'm scared that I'm cooking the meat wrong while the manager's looking over my shoulder again. It's just awful, man. Like when you quit this job and you hear your friend squeak one of these things as a joke because they got it as a gag item, you just start freaking out like, oh, I'm sorry, how can I help you? Speaking of the chickens, I did not realize for the longest time how many different versions of them there are. These things are basically collectibles. This is the first time I'm ever seeing a blue one. And it's not just blue, it has a mohawk and sunglasses. I feel like the ones you see most of the time are just a big bargain bin of the yellow chickens you see on TikTok all the time. It's legit like they're collectible action figures with interchangeable parts. I think if you had a complete collection of those, you could sell that for a pretty penny down the line. A local creamery, <laughs> creamery, has beef with Chase Bank. Ah, oh, shit, we got a text post on here. No Chase Bank. We do not accept checks from Chase Bank. You know, this would have been right at home on the last video about real haters. Chase Bank canceled my business checking account and credit card for no reason and without warning. It happened on purpose in Plano, Texas. The result was thousands of dollars in fees and bank charges by Henry's Ice Cream. Shame on you, Chase Bank, picking on the small business. Well, all my customers will know what you did. They will not speak favorably about Chase Bank. I hope this story makes national news because I have great documentation. Jesus Christ, that's petty, but I respect it. You gotta draw your line in the sand somewhere, man. You can't let them walk all over you. We received a letter from the woman who lived in my apartment 70 years ago. Hi, I used to live in your flat 70 years ago before I came to England with my parents. My husband and I are coming to Sydney in March for a couple of days, arriving on the 15th, and I am wondering if you are free, whether it would be possible to have a quick look around the flat. I have some memories of the place, mainly 
looking out the window of what my mother called the sunroom to the harbor and the small pier next door. Oh, that's so like genuinely sweet and wholesome. This is one of the things you gotta bake into the back of your mind as hopium. You have to remember these really human and touching moments that make you realize why it is you keep going on because it's very easy to forget that. I've also thought about like visiting my childhood home someday because obviously I don't live in it anymore. It just feels like as time has passed, I've the memories of how I knew it looked like have faded with time. It wouldn't be in the same form, but to see it in any capacity at all, like maybe it'll jog that and bring me further in touch with why I have a phobia of small metal objects. God damn it. The coffee I ordered in Bosnia came with a complimentary cigarette? Oh my god, I'm going there. Dude, they know what's up. Not only was it free, but he gets to smoke indoors. That's fucking awesome. Bosnians know what's up. Lung cancer is really cool and epic. I assume he's having coffee in the morning, because that's usually when you do, I think. But they know what's up. You just brushed your teeth, and now you get to make your breath stink like hell all over again. A homeless man in Silicon Valley with a VR headset. I think that's a quest, too. I have one of those. I mean, it's not like he has much to do, man. Like, just let him live his life. Maybe in VR, he's pretending to live in a house. And let him have his dreams, dog. A sign at a restaurant claiming they closed to take the staff off to Vegas. Notice, we will be closed Sunday, April the 30th through Tuesday, May 2nd. Sorry for any inconvenience. We will reopen Wednesday. May we see you then. Our employees threatened to revolt if we did not take them to Vegas for a couple days. We must support them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, use the employees as the excuse for why you get to do a company-funded Vegas trip. Nina, Flinders, Nuka, those are my editors. Um, don't get any bright ideas. We already went to Vegas during TwitchCon. It's not happening again. This prescription bottle uses the law in order font. Huh, that's pretty cool. I feel like the typography is actually pretty visible. I am kind of a font head. I don't, I don't know why this is, but there are several fonts from my childhood that I can pretty much recognize everywhere. There's the Modern Warfare 2 font, which for some reason I know was the same font that the old Chipotle logo used. I recognize the Captain America logo font, which is very creatively called American Captain, because it was used in thumbnails all the time, so now it's just baked into my brain. And I know by heart what the Black Ops 2 menu font looks like, because I stared at that shit so many times after getting home from middle school. I have font autism, uh, fontism if you will. This could be a good quite with a Y video. I have several more fonts that I'm like that with, and a ton of examples of very specific fonts being used in wildly different contexts. Maybe that could be a quite with a Y video. A neighbor is letting the neighborhood weigh in on their house color. Oh, and they really got this shit put together. You put the tally on the color that you're voting for, and you can literally look at the house for an example of how it's gonna look when it's actually painted on. This is a well-oiled operation. This dude put a lot of thought into this. This is the type of shit that an HOA should be doing, not being annoying-ass hall monitors. It's like, oh, you can't have a fence that's this tall. You have to mow your lawn this often. You can't leave corpses in the front yard. They stink up the place. It should be like organizing fun community stuff, man. This reinforced concrete has dissolved from years of dog urine. Is that why dogs pee on fire hydrants and just cylindrical objects? They just have beef with concrete and know that their pee will melt it down over the years? It is really easy to forget that pee is corrosive. Well, Technically, anything that has to go whiz every now and then can spit acid. You just don't spit it out of this head, you spit it out of your dickhead. Also, unrelated question, when was the last time you guys heard someone say, I need to take a whiz in reference to having to pee? I feel like it just disappeared and everybody moved on from it, but I still remember it. It really stuck with me, so maybe I'll be able to breathe some new life into it. Who knows? Amsterdam has urinals out in the open on the public street. Why is every single one of them in front of a window? There's definitely another urinal on the other side where you can just lock eyes with the dude who you're sharing this moment with. Those things probably get used way more than that concrete pillar did, so they are going to disintegrate fast. There's no dividers between these outdoor urinals either. Is using the bathroom in Amsterdam just a communal experience? Man, they've really got everything there. Public transit, legal drugs, healthcare, public toilets. It's like it's one big Discord server, except they all know each other in real life. A UK supermarket has a tag you can add for carts with wonky wheels. Wonky wheels? If your trolley has a mind of its own, please stick a tag on it. Thank you. My local hospital has examples of when you may need an urgent care versus emergency care. Okay, so the example given for urgent care is a cat scratching up your calves or your leg, you know, and needing to go to the emergency room is something like getting eaten alive by an alligator. Are these two ends of a sliding spectrum? Where do various forms of being injured fall into this? Like, we need to figure out what's in the exact middle. I think the median between getting cat scratched and devoured alive is something like, uh, oh, I know. It would be having an anvil dropped on your head very cartoonishly. Because it's an anvil, physics will allow you to bend and take more damage than you usually would be able to. So it's suitably dramatic, but it really is a nice middle ground here. This is what a 38-year difference looks like between the Dodge 3500. Damn. 
It got fat. I feel like it's just evolved over time to be more adept at running over children, with an oil-free future being the goal on the horizon for everybody, where it's becoming a less liked fuel source over time. The Dodge 3500 had to switch up its diet. So over time, it slowly evolved to stop subsisting on gas, and it now runs by devouring children. My water bottle shrank after I put it in the dishwasher. How does that even work? What is that thing made out of that it managed to do that? But hey, at least it has a new use in title as the most dildo-looking non-dildo item in your home. I mean, you could probably easily convert it into a dildo, but that takes some extra work on your part, and it's also more about how brave you are, less about the functionality. A picture of a J before its wings kicked in. Damn, Mordecai is going crazy out here. Uh, I just wrote down a list of stupid shit that I could compare it to. Uh, bro thinks he's Cardi. Uh, he really don't give a fuck. Uh, he wants out. He's like Kratos jumping off the cliff to kill himself. He's that one blue avatar falling out of the spaceship limp. He's me jumping off that one cliff into the big, green, disgusting water that one time. What's stage of brain rot is this? I'm kind of not sure. I'm gonna wrap this video up here. That card I mentioned should be on screen. If you enjoyed, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. Anyways, this has been Quite, and I will see y'all next time.